Alright, let me see what's popping with this shit. Alright. Alright, is this shit working now? Is this shit working now? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Alright, you gotta give me a, a, a second, because this shit is acting funny. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Why is this shit going so fucking slow? This shit is crazy. Hold on, give me one second, guys. Hold on. Why is this shit? All right. All right, I think I think it's good now. I think it is good right now. Okay. So, hold on, let me make sure. Can everybody see me and hear me? Can everybody see me and hear me? All right. I don't know why this shit is, is delayed, but whatever. I don't know why this shit is delayed. But we're going to have to do what is do what we're going to do. Anyway, so what's good, people? What's popping? What's the deal? It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy of the dating game. Uh, before we get into all that, make sure, as usual, get How to Have Sex with Two Women a Day. The ebook, hard copy, audiobook, make sure you get this shit popping, okay? Make sure you get that going. So you can click the link below or go straight to mrlocario.com to get that. All right. Yeah, so um, today I wanted to talk about what I learned in the game, okay? Because I've, I've been, you know, dealing with chicks, picking up girls, getting shit popping with chicks for, for the past 20 years, okay? So I've been in this shit heavy, right? And a uh, shout out to my dude, O'Shea Duke Jackson, I uh, did a show with him earlier today. We were talking about, you know, coaching and all that other good stuff. So shout out to him. Um, let me put the number here real quick. 646-481-3901. Um, yeah, so basically, I've been dealing with chicks since I was like 14 or some shit. You feel what I'm saying? And I'm 37 now. And I lost my virginity when I was 16. Right? And um, you said, where can you get the Reading Women program? You got to go to badboymembership.com and join the membership and you can get that program. So a lot of the programs you guys will be asking me about, they're on the Bad Boy membership. And the only way you can get it is to be on the Bad Boy membership. So those aren't sold separately. So if you want a specific um program on the bad boy membership you got to join the bad boy membership right so i just wanted to talk about a few things that i learned from you know attracting women all these years you feel what i'm saying because what happens is with you know years of doing this and being you know in the game and doing what you do you start to see certain things you start to see certain uh you know patterns certain truths about women about, you know, yourself, about, you know, just dealing with shit in the game. You feel what I'm saying? So, you know, I got I got a list of few things. I actually wrote some stuff down because I wanted to make sure I didn't forget anything. So, um, you know, we're going to get into that. All right, so the first thing I want to talk about, when I what I learned about the game, and you hear me talk about this a million fucking times, but I want to show you how or, or why, I, you know, I, I, I talk about this a lot and why it's important. And... The first thing is confidence is key. It's key. It's so fucking key. Now, a lot of people, they 
don't like to talk about confidence. They're like, oh, confidence, that don't make no sense because in order for you to be confident, you got to, you know, be successful first and then you're confident or something like that, right? Now, when I realized that confidence is important, that's when my, uh, you know, success with women skyrocketed. And so what happens is a lot of guys try to attribute um, your success with women based off of, okay, how much money you got, how good you look, all this other stuff, right? So with the whole looks thing, like I basically look like me and I'm, I'm sure you look like you your whole life unless you had, you know, plastic surgery or maybe you were like a big dude. I was never really like a fat kid. You understand? Like there was times where I was like, um, you know, a little chubbier at certain points when I was like 11. You understand what I'm saying? But as I gotten older, I was real slim around like 15. And then, you know, I just got muscle as the years gone, gone on or whatever. Right. But um, it was, you know, it wasn't that big of a deal. It was still sort of in the same realm. So what happened was, was that when I was younger, it was hard for me to get certain girls in certain points. So I would, I would get girls here and there, but because I was extremely insecure when I was younger at certain points, it was harder for me to get girls than once I've, you know, started to develop this confidence. You understand? So what happened was, was that once I started to realize that, you know, I was valuable and that, you know, I really bought shit to the table when I realized that just being me is good because just being me is enough. I didn't need to be like anyone else. I didn't need to, uh, you know, be different than who I am. I just recognized all the cool shit about me. What up, Sean? What's up, D Wiz? D Weez, what's going on? A Howard, I even get to shout out to people. What up, um, a, a political guy? What's going on? Night Zoom Flights. Ask Trag, what's going on? Uh, Juma, Chizzy City, was popping. The Magic Male Seducer, was going on? A uh, Jumu Bay, was popping. Uh, Tim G, was going on? What's the deal? You, you feel what I'm saying? What's popping? And so, yeah, so confidence is key. And so what happens is that the more I felt good about myself, the more I recognized that I was the shit. And the more I, you know, uh, was self-confident, that's when it was easier for me to get women. That's when women would start to gravitate to me uh, a little bit more. So a lot of dudes don't understand, and see, this is the thing, a lot of dudes don't understand the concept when we talk about confidence because they think that um, they're only looking at it on a surface level. They'll say, well, you know, um, I can't be confident unless I accomplish something, or I can't be confident unless I have a certain amount of money. I can't be confident unless this, I can't be confident unless that, I can't be confident. So it's like, it's all this outside shit that is saying, well, I can't be confident because of whatever. Right now, there's things that can help you build that confidence, but you don't necessarily need that. That's a whole nother story. Right. So there's other things that I did to build my confidence. But it was literally just me making a decision one day and saying, listen, I don't need to feel insecure for what? I'm me like there's nobody else like me. There's nobody else that sounds like me with my with my voice. Nobody looks like me. Nobody has uh, my thoughts and you understand. So that made me say, oh, shit. OK, I'm unique. I'm interesting. So if a girl wants to fuck with me, she got to get with me, period. You understand? You said it's all about looks. Does it matter how much confidence? Wait, what? How much confidence do you have if you look ugly and you're not attracted to a woman? She's not even going to look at you? I don't even understand that, that statement. You said if you're not if, attracted to a woman, are you saying if a woman's not attracted to you, she's not even going to look at you? First of all, most women aren't out here looking at every dude like that. You understand what I'm saying? Most women are looking at the guys who they find attractive. And, what, and who they find attract, attractive is based off of their own thing meaning you could have a good looking 
you know, Asian guy, but let's say a woman isn't into Asian dudes. I'm just using a simple example. You feel what I'm saying? Then what difference does it make? He said, best thing to do is get your money up and get a better whip, get a better place to live, step up your game and let women look at you as a valuable person. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Look, this is why I'm glad I'm doing this video. You said the best thing you do is get your money up, get a better whip, a better place to live. See, I just did a, a video with, with Oshie Duke Jackson. I was talking just about this stuff. And I, and I mentioned this before. I don't have a car. I've never had a car. I don't know how to drive. Right? I, you know, I've been poor most of my life. I was living at home with my mom, sharing a room with my brother. And I was getting pussy like crazy. You see what I'm saying? So when dude, you guys, I'm just, you, you guys just got to understand something. When I hear shit like that, it's comedy to me. I'm sorry. Like it's, it's I'm not trying to laugh at you, but it's comedy to me. The, the, um, the magic Mel Seducey said, you think most men on here don't love themselves at any, uh, um, regardless of what you do. <laughs> yeah, it's fucked up. It's fucked up. Now, the thing is, you definitely want to get your shit together. But get your shit together for you. You understand? Because no matter how much money I had or have at a certain time, I have never, ever, let me, let me say this again. I have never, ever, Okay, let me take the back. I'm not going to say never, ever. Because there was one time I did some bullshit and I was like, never again. But besides that one time, I have not used any money to get women. You understand? And I'm not talking about like, you know, um, going on a date or some shit. I'm talking about like using my money to either trick on a chick or using money to try to attract the lure girl in like i don't do that shit magic though you said if a person that's unemployed but is attractive and can get women over a man that's employed uh has money what does that tell you tell you attractiveness looks trumps everything else but dude you're you're using that that uh that situation in a in a vacuum because it could be an unemployed guy who's not attractive who still can get chicks. One of the dudes I learned a lot of game from when I was younger wasn't a good looking dude. Or mostly I would say he's not good looking. And he and he was like, he had jobs here and there, but he was always like in and out of jobs. But he always had chicks. He's the one I went to for advice. You feel what I'm saying? So, so you got to understand what's going on. You got to understand how important confidence is when it comes to this game. And when you're confident, shit is going to happen easier for you in the game when it comes to chicks. Because they can feel that shit. Um, and I'm telling you guys, like when I was younger, right, I was trying really hard to, 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 to interact with chicks. But what made it hard for me was I wasn't... Um, as confident as I am now. When I started to recognize who the fuck I was, that's when shit just skyrocketed. You say you was an attractive person, you had surgery and everything else changed, and after that, I was getting girls left and right. What? But um, but yeah, but that's the first thing I want to talk about. It's conf the, the 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 confidence is some real shit. Now, the second thing that I learned is that picking up chicks isn't always a smooth process. So picking up women is isn't always a smooth process. And so what I mean is is that 
a lot of guys when they talk about like learning game and learning how to talk to girls or whatever, dudes want to learn how to say the perfect thing. They want to learn how to. They, they're like, what can I say here? What can I say here or uh, there? What can I do to to make this girl wanna give me her number and everything like that? But picking up girls and talking to them and approaching them and all the other stuff is not a smooth process. So sometimes you're gonna talk to a girl and there may be awkward pauses. You're gonna talk to a girl and um, you might run out of stuff to say at a certain point. You might be uh, talking to a girl and she's giving you some resistance at first and then she may warm up to you. Or you may, you may talk to a girl, she may warm up to you first and then give you some resistance later. You feel what I'm saying? So what I tell guys is don't try to don't try to be cool when you are picking up women. You understand? And what I mean by that is a lot of guys will run a, 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 a interaction in their head over and over again before they bother to go in and talk to a woman. But all you need to do is get in the moment, talk to her, interact with her, and go with that flow. And then the more you learn the game, the more you learn how to talk to women, then it's going to be easier for you to flow in that situation. You understand? The Magic Mill Seducer, you said, because what, uh, what about Mr. Lucario is talking about is who, who are you? Where you want to be? What is your vision? And do you know who you are and what you want in life? Ask big questions. Gentlemen, please. Exactly. Real shit. Real shit. Kayo Kai86, you said, do, do I suggest going to the mall to scout women on a Saturday daytime? And will you go out to a bar alone? Yeah, I usually go out to bars by myself most of the time. Like, 90% of the time, I'm by myself. As far as, like, scouting them all and all that shit, um, if you're first learning, you want to you do that type of shit. Um, once you get a little bit more intermediate or advanced, you, you want to still, you know, talk to girls in different situations, but it's better to do it as you're doing your normal, everyday thing. So, let's say if you actually had to go to the mall and pick up something, and then you see some girls there, then, yeah, do it while you, you're, you're uh, doing that. Um, but that's when you get a little bit more advanced. Now, if you're practicing, then yeah, go out there and spend some time out there and, and do it. You feel what I'm saying? Cal Newman was popping. Shout out to you. MJ Get Right, he said, if you get the girl to do most of the talking like you're supposed to, you won't run out of stuff to say. Exactly. Real shit. Right? So yeah, so basically I was saying that picking up chicks isn't always a smooth process. And so once you accept that, it'll be easier for you to go and approach because the hesitation that guys get when they when they approach is because they're like, oh my God, what am I supposed to say? What am I going to do? Is she going to reject me? And then you're in, it, and in your mind, you're thinking it's supposed to go real smooth. And then so you're sacking yourself out. And then when you go and approach and you're talking, you're just so all up in your head, you don't know what the fuck to do. Sean Arrows, you said uh, can you, you can't just buy my book in person. What do you mean? What are you talking about? What, you live in Brooklyn or something? What's going on? Carlos Rivera, what's going on? But yeah, so picking up chicks is not a smooth process, right? Another thing that I learned with 20 years of, of, of dealing with chicks is that women like sex just as much as us, like, and sometimes even more. Because before, when I was younger, I didn't think that women like sex like how guys like sex. But once I started having more sex, I realized how much women love sex. It's ridiculous. And so, you know, I seen this meme that was floating around where it said, guys always want a girl who likes a lot of sex until they actually meet a girl who wants a lot of sex or some shit like that. Because when you meet a girl who wants a lot of sex... That chick will fucking wear you out. You understand if you keep fucking her like that. You know what I'm saying? So, you know. Chicks love dick. Okay? They love sex. Do not get it twisted. So, this is why it's funny to me when dudes feel like they got to do a whole bunch of goofy shit in order to get sex from a woman. 
You just let the girl know you want to fuck. You understand? And if she wants to make that happen, she's going to make it happen because they like having sex. Joe Blast, you said you, you once, I once said that nobody stays. How do you get comfortable with that? It's hard to pill to swallow. Well, it's not necessarily nobody stays. You could be with somebody and they can stay with you until you die. What, I, what I've said basically is that everything comes to an end, meaning all your relationships are going to come to an end. So she might leave. And if she doesn't leave, you guys are going to die. So either, so either way, it's going to come to an end. So what I say is just enjoy the moment with the girls you're dealing with. And just enjoy the moment, period, in your life. Because you never know when you're going to go. You said, well, uh, would you say if you if you don't use it, you lose it? If you are not approaching women, often you lose uh, that comfort. Or is it automatic for, no, for you guys, no matter how long you've been away from the game? Well, that's the thing. You get rusty if you don't use it. You understand? So, like, let's say, for example... You know, if you've been going out, you know, consistently talking to different girls, whatever, you build that momentum up, you're having fun, you you interacting with chicks, you get used to talking to girls. Now, if you if you take, let's say, six, seven months off from going out to talk to chicks, you got to build that momentum back up again. So you're going to get rusty. Man, you said I have, you say you have three kids. Should you tell women, uh that you just that you just meet that you have kids or should you lie to them well that's the thing you look you don't necessarily have to tell them you have kids you know um unless like let's say if you, you meet a chick at a bar and y'all flirting and you know that she you know she wants to do something tonight you, you know she wants to fuck you whatever whatever all of that shit is irrelevant. Like, if you're just hooking up with a chick, it don't even matter what you telling her you have kids or whatever. If she asks you, you have, do you have kids, then you don't lie. That's all. The, see, my thing is just don't lie. You understand? So you can tell the chick, uh, you know, whatever, just don't lie. You understand? You said, how do you stay motivated when you're constantly coming across chicks that are bullshitting? I cut them off. That's how I, <laughs> I stay motivated. I cut them off quickly. See, sometimes I may give a chick leeway based off of the situation. So sometimes I do a soft charge, meaning let's say I'm dealing with a chick. And in my mind, I say, I'm not going to call her again. But if she calls me, I might see her i might if i depending on you know the situation and how i'm feeling but in, in from my end i'm pretty much done so she's never going to get a call from me she would have to call me and if she calls me then maybe I'll, I'll see what we could go what could go down there's some girls who uh depending on what they did or whatever they're just totally cut off you say even when you cut them off it gets annoying you say all you ever end up doing is cutting off chicks and that's the thing you gotta, you're gonna always cut off chicks. That's part of the shit. Like, don't be feeling a certain way because you gotta cut off chicks. That's part of the game. If you ain't cutting off a, a, a chick every week, you ain't talking to enough women. You understand what I'm saying? So understand that shit is happening. Well, I'm gonna take calls in a second. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get through a few of these, uh, few of these things real quick all right so first i was told my confidence is key picking up chicks is not a smooth process all the time women uh like sex just as much as men do and the fourth thing is rejection isn't bad and i'll talk about this on my last one so i'm not going to go too much into it but basically um the when you start getting used to rejection it loses its uh stinging power to you you understand? So many guys are scared to get rejected because they don't like the feeling of the rejection. Like, you know, it's not like, oh, I love getting rejected, but, you know, they're so scared of the feeling of it because it's attached to the ego. It's attached to them feeling like, well, 
I'm this super cool pickup guy or I'm this seducer and I don't, you know. So they're trying to eliminate the amount of of rejections that they can uh that they can that they can get. It's like kind of like when a chick gets with a dude, she's like she wants to eliminate the rejection from him after he hits it. You understand? See, women's rejection usually happens after the sex. So this is why chicks sometimes will make try to make dudes wait for a while <laughs> because they want to prolong that because they, they, they don't want, you know, the dude to fuck them and never call them again. So a lot of times you are not active in the process of talking to women because you're scared that the rejection is going to come. You feel what I'm saying? You say, how many women should we approach in each day? Uh, as many as possible. And when I say approaching, not even approaching in the street. You can approach in the street at an event. You can hit up chicks online. You should be doing as many as possible. Some dudes, based off of their areas, may not have as many chicks as others. But let's say if you're in a big city like New York or, you know, um, let's say you're in fucking Miami or something like that. You want to talk to at least like 20 to 25 a day if you can. Gandhi Gandhi you said you have to approach you say you have to get things going for you before approaching women it's not rocket science what what type of things you need to get going for you what are you talking about you said what's your take on under pursuing a chick what, what do you mean under pursuing her what do you mean by specifically under pursuing her so yeah so the fourth thing was rejection isn't that bad now, the fifth thing that I learned from 20 years of being in this game and dealing with, with, uh, with these chicks is that you can actually learn how to be attractive to women. Now, this is, this is what partly made me, uh, you know, this is what made me want to be a coach. The fact that dudes can learn this shit because I learned how to be more attractive to women. And I've seen guys that I knew that weren't good at w with dealing with women get better at dealing with women. You understand? So you can learn how to be attractive to women. See, it's so sad that in this game there's so many goofy ass people who don't know the game. So they, you know, they always come with the oh, it's all about looks. You got to get your money up. You got to do this and you got to do that. And they don't get to the fundamentals of what makes you an attractive man to women. You understand? See, most guys don't know how to be attractive to women, which is why they try to get the money and all the fancy shit because they don't know how to be attractive. And then the woman uses them for the money and the fancy shit. And the guy thinks, oh, shit, look, I'm cool now because this girl wants to fuck with me. He's fucking with you because you got money. And she's only fucking with you because of the money. So she don't like you. She like the money. The money could be attached to anybody. Which is why you're going to lose her as soon as the money dries up. Zaquan, you said, so under pursuing, you said, like, not putting too much effort uh, can kill attraction. How do you deal with those girls that want you to text them every time or be like, we need to talk more before we go out? Listen. Fuck all that, okay? I, look, look, I had chicks, dude, I've had chicks that they would send me texts talking about, oh, I want you to text me more. I don't, I don't like that you don't text me more, right? And my response to some of them sometimes would be like, so what? You know what I'm saying? Or I'd be like, stop lying. You know you love this shit. You know you love that I don't, I'm not texting you. Whatever, because I don't feel like, if I don't feel like texting you, I'm not going to text you. You understand? And if you leave, so what? But a lot of times they stay because they see that you're playing by your rules, not by their rules, right? But see, the thing is, when you're talking about not putting in too much effort that can kill the, you know, uh, uh, if it can kill the attraction, is that it's not about putting in, see, when you, it's like a, a fine line. 
you you put in effort because you want to put in effort because you're attracted to the girl. Meaning, you do things to get her and to make shit go down. Meaning, you, let's say you, you you send a text so y'all can meet up and go on a date or hang out, whatever, right? What you don't want to do is you don't want to start texting her every day, five times a day, asking her a whole bunch of shit because then what it is just showing that you're needy. But at the same time, you don't want to be the type of dude who's never calling a chick ever, period. You feel what I'm saying? Because then she's going to think that you're not feeling her. So it's it's a balance. You understand? I'm going to get to the calls in a second. Don't worry. It's a balance. But, um, but yeah, but what I was talking about is you being able to learn how to be attractive to women and... And what people got to understand is, is that guys who are really good with attracting women, uh, they have skills. It's a skill. People don't want to un uh, 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 understand this, but it's an actual skill. You see what I'm saying? It's a skill to be able to talk to a woman you've never met before and get her to want to come home with you that night or take you back to her place to have sex with you. That's a skill to be able to consistently do that over and over again. Now, I was talking about this on O'Shea Dude Jackson's video where sometimes dudes get, you know, lucky and shit and then it'll, it'll happen once, you know, every two, three years that may happen. But to be able to consistently do that, that's a skill. Now, if it wasn't a skill, how come more guys can't do that? You see what I'm saying? See, think about this for a second. Think about this. If picking up women and seducing women was not a skill, how come every guy or most guys just can't go to a bar tonight or a club tomorrow and just pick out chicks and just take them home? How come they can't do that? Why? Every So every dude is ugly now. Every dude's ugly. That's why they can't go and pick up a chick and, uh, you know, take her home. Or every dude ain't got money, so or every dude ain't got no status, so that's why it can't happen, right? Nobody, nobody like if it's not a skill and it's not something you can learn, how come every guy just can't do it? D. Weezy said most dudes out here aren't willing to put in the work, exactly, and so that's what I'm saying. Where learning how to be attractive. Is a skill, and you can learn that. You understand? This is what the game is about. It's so it's so funny, man. Like because most of these dudes out here, they they've been like seeing too many, um, like too much bullshit in the game out here. Meaning they are not really looking at reality. You understand? They are not looking at reality. Hold on, let me uh, let me get rid of the troll in here. All right. So they they're not looking at reality. Hello, where's my dude? I'm gonna make I'm gonna make Jermaine. I gotta make Jermaine. Let me see if I can make you a moderator. Hold on. All right. Jermaine Jones, I'm going to make you a moderator. And Daquan, we make you a moderator. All right. Um, hold on, I'm going to take calls in a second. So see any, if you see anybody trolling, <laughs> get that shit out of here. You feel what I'm saying? You're not going to do none of that over here. All right. So this, this we're just talking about game here, period. That's what we do here. Anyway, that um. so the thing is, you can learn how to attract women. That's all I'm saying. And that's what I learned. You feel what I mean? That's what I learned. Um. The next thing that I learned is that and we talk about this all the time, that it's not just about looks, money, and status. This is why I keep getting on dudes who talk this shit. Because it's comedy to me. It's fucking hilarious. 
Like you guys gotta understand, it's like when you when you've been through shit and you've seen shit and you made shit happen, and then you hear guys who don't they've never done anything, they've never really uh uh, uh made shit happen. They don't and you're like this motherfucker don't know what the fuck he's talking about. I'm like, oh my god, like oh it's everything is all about looks, really. You know that I have clients who most would consider good looking dudes. I have people who pay for uh coaching, pay for the bad boy membership, and that shit is not cheap. So if it was all about the money, why would people be paying for advice on game? Like the, all of this has been debunked already. It's it's hilarious. You feel what I'm saying? Shit is hilarious. So that, you know, it, it's not all about the whole looks, money, status. I don't even want to go too much into that anyway because we've already discussed that a million times. Now, one of the last things I wanted to talk about that I learned, you know, and there's so many things that I learned, but I, I, could, I could be here for fucking ever talking about a whole bunch of shit that I learned in the game for the past 20 years. Um, But one of the things that I learned that that surprised me that I didn't know was like a thing was that most women like having sex with multiple men. Okay? Most women like having sex with multiple men. Don't be fooled. Don't get shit twisted. Most women like having sex with multiple men. See, some guys are under the belief that women don't like to 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 have sex like we do, meaning that they don't like to um, you know, have as many partners as we. They just want to be with one guy. Nope. Nope. These chicks out here like having sex with multiple men. You know how I know? Because I used to be women's other guy a lot of times. I heard my, and shout out to my dude, Alan Roger Curry, because I remember him saying this shit too, and I was like, yup. Like, I remember I was at some chick's uh, crib, and we were smashing or whatever, right? And we have fell asleep. So we fell asleep, we're chilling there, and she woke up. And I'm still sort of sleeping or whatever. So she gets up and she's like, oh my God, get up, get up, get up. She's pushing me. She's like, get up, get up. So I get up and I'm like, yo, what the fuck? What's going on? And she's like, yo, you got to go. And I'm like, relax, what's the big deal? And, and the reason why she was trying to kick me out the house was because she had another dude coming through. It wasn't her boyfriend. She didn't have a boyfriend. It was just some other nigga that she liked that she was going to be fucking that same day. You feel what I'm saying? So women get it popping. They go in. There's times where I've been with chicks who I didn't even know had boyfriends. And this is fucked up too because that's that shit's kind of crazy. But I've been with chicks in certain situations where they had boyfriends. They didn't tell me they had boyfriends. Right? And I'd be fucking them. And the boyfriend will call. And then she'll be like, shh, hold on, don't say, shh, be quiet, be quiet. And she's on the phone with her man. And I'm like, what the fuck? Like, oh my God, like what's wrong with these chicks? And see, you got to understand that women like having sex with multiple men. Jermaine Jones, he said, women choose who they want to have sex with, men choose who they marry. Real talk. But yeah, I got so many stories of, of chicks fucking uh, multiple dudes. I've been in swinger parties. Where I'm seeing chicks getting trains ran on them. All of that stuff. So. 
So it's funny that, you know, because, and it, what's funny to me is this, because, I, you know, I made a video or a few videos where I was talking about the slut and the good girl are the same girl. And and the reason why is because I some of these girls I know personally who get down, who in front of other guys pretend to be that good girl. And it's just funny to me. The shit is hilarious. I think I told a story about that before where I fucked this girl who one of my boys was trying to get with. I fucked her on the first night and he was talking about, oh, this chick likes to take it slow, all this other crazy shit. I didn't know the girl at the time was the girl he was that he was trying to fuck with. Later on, I found out the girl he was taking it slow with was a girl I smashed on the first night. You feel what I'm saying? So chicks, they, they get down. But it's funny because <laughs> what I find funny is that a lot of dudes, what they'll say is, they'll say, well, uh, they say, well, a chick who fucks a whole bunch of dudes it's, it's hard for her to uh, bond with a guy because she had so many dicks or some crazy shit like that. Um, or they'll say, like, she can't be fucking with another dude. Because I hear this a lot where they'll say a chick can't fuck with a whole bunch of guys because, because she had too much dick that's going to influence her uh, mentally or or the guy's going to influence her. Let me, let me tell you guys something. A woman fucking a guy randomly is not going to influence her. You know what influences a woman? A woman gets influenced by a, 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 a man who dominates her mind. You understand? She's not getting influenced by just some random dude fucking her in the ass. She gets influenced by a guy who dominates her mind. I'll give you a simple example. If you went to, uh, let's say, for example, you guys here are in the United States, right? Let's say you went to visit London just for like a day or two, right? I'm going to take calls in a second. So let's say you went to London for a day or two. Are you going to now have a London accent because you went to London for a day or two? Or would you more likely have a London accent if you've been f to London for a long time and your mind was consumed with that accent? You might end up starting to pick up an accent. Not just because you was in London for a day or two, right? If you went to China, you know, for a weekend, are you now going to be fluent in Chinese? Or maybe if you spent a long time in China and actually studied the language, then maybe then you can speak Chinese. So what would make you think a dude fucking a chick for seven minutes? <laughs> yes, yeah, seven minutes, because that's how long some motherfuckers last, is going to influence her. Versus a dude who's been cultivating her mind for, for years. I'm going to take calls in, in five minutes. You feel what I'm saying? Real shit. That's what, that's what, see, you guys got to think critically about this shit. You got to think critically about this shit. Because... The thing is, you know, you could say, let's say, for example, if the guy gets his DNA in her or something, you know, it's like he 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 busts a nut in her or like he she eats her. He, she, you know, I don't want to get gra too graphic, but you know what I'm saying? Then maybe his, uh, uh, you know, part of his DNA gets in her and all this other stuff. But usually most guys ain't, you know, doing shit like that, like crazy. And even then, that's still not going to influence her on a on a on a huge scale. It's like it's like going to a tropical place and you got a tan. Okay, you got a tan. And tan's going to go away in, in a few days, right? But the thing is, dudes, they, they come up with these cockamamie fucking things 
to 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 want to like uh, not deal with the fact that women are gonna want to fuck a bunch of dudes. This is, that's just what it is. I'm I'm now again. This is not not saying all. I'm just saying a lot of chicks be getting it in. They get it in. And dudes just got to understand that that's part of the game, man. Dudes got to stop living in this fantasy world where you find in this virgin who, you know, is like fucking, you know, she's just sitting at home knitting sweaters, reading the Bible, waiting for you to come through and, and, and save her. Like, I don't know where cats be getting that shit from. All right, let me take some calls real quick. Yo, what's going on? Who's this? Hello? Yo, what's poppin'? Who's this? Yo, Mr. Carney, what's good? It's Miguel. What's Miguel, poppin'? What's going on? Yeah, it's finally good to hear from you. I've been listening on to the last couple of the shows, so yeah, it's good to get through. Mm -hmm. uh, the last show that I saw, man, you was getting cheated mm -hmm. with the mean of dinner. Oh, right, <laughs> right, right. Yeah, she was, she was a little tight, but you know, that was good, though, because at least you guys get to see the, you know, the... <laughs> The, the raw emotions of a woman in person, you know, in live. You know what I'm saying? That's what it is. Uh, right. If, if, if you don't mind, could I kind of something just a bit? Because, man, I really wanted to get through that day, but I, 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 I couldn't. I couldn't Wait, do say it. that again? I was, I, was, I, was trying to, I was trying to really get through on the lines that day, but mm -hmm. I, I couldn't. Mm -hmm. It was hard. <laughs> but now, okay, so... You know what? I'll just stick to the, to the current topic. But no, I, I think what, what a lot of guys, including myself, you know what I'm saying? Like at this point, I've accepted the game for what it is. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I you know I accept chicks for what they are. Mm -hmm. And after you you start bagging them consistently, it's like all right, it, it is what it is. But mm -hmm. what I'm I'm most kind of like annoyed about is that after I I smash these chicks, mm -hmm. it's like you learn just how age shit these bitches are. <laughs> Like there was this one chick that I pulled, and she's laying like I'm 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 done smashing with her, right? Mm. And she's laying in her bed, and like she gets on the phone, and she's like, "Yeah, mom, can you feed the kids?" And I'm sitting here like, "Yo, <laughs> you don't go home to your kids. You don't take your ass home right the fuck now, like, right? What is you doing here with me?" Mm. And so, like, I I don't care if if a chick's smashing a whole bunch of years. I think that I can control her, right? Mm. But when I get to her and she ain't got no value, she ain't cultivating nothing, that shit, like, pisses me the fuck off. Because, um, you know, like, I'm not necessarily going off the old, you know what I'm saying, the old, uh, I guess you call it, what, the, the social contract or whatever. Mm -hmm. and, and and that's what a lot of these chicks do. You know what I'm saying? They out here, they smash and acting crazy. They don't cultivate any value. Mm -hmm. And then they want to default to the old, you know what I'm saying? The old social contract, like, that, that, that's bullshit. Mm. And so that's where a lot of these dudes, you know what I'm saying, like, that anger, that frustration, it gets cultivated. Because, like, like, like I said, you know what I'm saying, I haven't met one chick that's out here smashing multiple dudes, mm. ain't got nothing going for herself, mm. and is up front with you, like, yo, this is what it is, you know what I'm saying? Like, that, and, and that's another thing that contributes to, you know what I'm saying? I, I guess the, the toxicity dating games like a whole bunch of fuck shit and like lying not just on niggas parts but mm. the females too but niggas like we we Ooh. tend to like we tend to i guess be known for being like toxic whatever but like females like to cover their shit and all right well, know, that's, well that's well and see that's the thing the reason why is because you know, the reason why they'll do all of that shit is because you know they're scared to be judged and call sluts and yada 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 and so, but see, but that's, 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 for a, but that's, but see, that's for a guy to understand, uh, what's really going on. See, this is the thing. What, what you got to understand is this. People are only going to show you a certain, uh, you know, usually they're, they're usually people are going to show you a side of them. If you, if they recognize in you that you understand what's going on. So, so when I talk to women, they know that. I don't give a fuck if they, you know, who they fucking and sucking. I don't care. Like, that that don't mean nothing to me. You feel what I'm saying? Like, sex, sex, sex is, like, I'll say it like this. The reason why that shit don't mean nothing to me is because there's other things that I require from a woman. You feel what I'm saying? 
So that's just right. like some other shit. So, and the reason why a lot of these chicks that you say that, that ain't doing shit is because they don't got no men to fucking uh, uh, manage their shit. That's why, see... And this is the thing, dudes, they don't understand. They think that when we talk about managing a leader, like, oh, well, I don't want to have to do nothing with no chick and she, she over here fucking all these dudes, so why am I going to do this and do that? The, the point is, is that you being a leader, you have to be able to get a chick, mold her into the type of chick you want for you. You feel what I'm saying? For, for, to, to help you with the fuck, with but, whatever the fuck you're doing. But see, if you're just thinking that's, about... That's so kind of like off the old social contract, though. You're supposed mm -hmm. to man up and be this leader and be this guy and mm. no 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 but that's but see that but see but see that's why you're having the issues with women that's the point that's see the reason why you're having the issue with the chicks is because and I'm not saying you in uh specifically I'm saying men in general yeah, 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 the reason yeah, why right know. the reason why men are in general having these issues and you got all this MGTOW shit and all this other stuff is because it's our fault that we have not tell, told these chicks, yo, this is what the fuck you need to do. You understand? A girl is only... See, when, whenever, you're not, whenever you're not doing what you need to do, the girl is going to wild out. You understand? So, for example, if I, if I, if I tell a chick, listen, um, you know, I expect from you to do A, B, and C because I'm doing A, B, and C, Right? So she's going to say, okay, cool. I'm going to do ABC because you do doing ABC. So she's following what I'm doing. Now, if she sees me doing D, E, and F, she's going to be like, well, why the fuck should I even bother doing A, B, and C when you're doing D, E, and F? Like, fuck you then. Whatever. I'm going to just go all over the place and do whatever the fuck I want. You see what I'm saying? And so because men haven't stood on the ground as men, you understand? And manage these women, which is what you're supposed to do as men. The women, in turn, aren't doing what they're supposed to do as women for us. You see what I'm saying? That's why you're not getting any... That's why dudes aren't getting any cooperation or chicks is just out here doing some goofy shit and chicks is being on some dumb shit. It's a reflection of us dropping the ball as men. Because like you're saying, you're like, oh, but the old paradigm of men, uh, you know, needing to this and that... That's not an old power. That's that's nature. You feel what I'm saying? That's what's supposed to happen as a man. You're supposed to have that desire to want to do that. You see what I'm saying? And it's still sort of in us uh, uh, to a certain extent, but it's gotten out of hand to where instead of it becoming a man to a woman, doing what a man and a woman should be doing for each other, it's gotten to a point where women are all over the place because of you know, feminism and women thinking they're independent, they could do whatever the fuck they want and all this other stuff. And men just looking at shit as, well, fuck all this shit. I give up. Fuck you, bitches. I just want to fuck you in the ass and never talk to you again. So both sides are all over the place. That's what I'm saying. Like, and, but, but the reason why it's all over the place, again, is because it started from us fucking up. You understand what I'm saying? That's what I want one guys to understand. And so, and so a lot of dudes who will hear this, they're going to be like, yo, Miss Lakari, you on some simp shit because you, you, you ain't, you ain't uh, holding these women accountable, whatever. If, 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 I come, if I come to, 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 to if you have a, 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 a son or a daughter and they're fucking up, uh, you know what I'm saying, am I going to talk to them or am I going to talk to the parents? You understand what I'm saying? I'm going to talk uh, to the no, parents. I, I understand all of that. Right. But at the same time, like you and I were all here having a discussion. Mm -hmm. on, on, on this end of the gender, it's like a lot of us that are trying to like do right in the game and trying to get what we want. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I, I just feel like there are more guys taking the initiative mm -hmm. to want to self-improve. Whereas, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's like we got to self-improve on that end. I don't really see any much self improvement from a lot of these chicks, you know. What I'm saying? And and again, and, that, and and again, that's what day, that's what I'm saying. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You that. said, hold on. You Go said you see you see self improvement from the the guys or trying to be self improvement from the guys, but you're not seeing right. it on the chicks. Again, the chicks will improve when we improve. You understand what I'm saying? We got to do it. Women follow us. Do you understand that? That's what happens. I'm, this is what I'm trying to tell you. It's, the, the thing is, is that we are the ones who are in the leadership position. We are the ones who manage. We're built that way. Women are built in a way where it's 
It's chaos that has to be harnessed. We harness the chaos. You understand what I'm saying? So until we are ready to harness that chaos, it's just going to be more chaos. And so the, 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 the reason why men are confused is because they're looking at women like how we look at ourselves. They're like, well, how come you can't just be this way and she can't because she's a chick? It's like you saying to a, a, a baby, I could walk down the stairs. How come you can't walk down the stairs? The baby can't walk yet. So you got to carry the baby. You can't get mad at the baby for fucking, you know, not walking down the stairs and crawling and shit. You see what I'm saying? So the same thing is with, 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 with the chicks out here. As dudes, they getting upset and pissed off with women, but you didn't realize that you're dealing with female nature and female nature is not going to change. The only thing that you can do is you can manage female nature to the point where they are doing what they need to also do for you as the man. You see what I'm saying? Because so whatever you whatever yeah, you want, I, from, I understand. <laughs> no, go ahead, go I, mean, I guess, I guess where I'm at with it, with with all of this, is that like those chicks who have been brought up better, you with men in general. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna just keep dealing with, with those chicks. These other chicks, wild girls out here. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They getting cut easy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know I mean, there's gonna be some chicks that you just are gonna have laugh. to like. You know, gonna have to kick to the curb. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you, you can't save them all. You can't. You know what I mean? But what I'm saying of is, course. is there's chicks out there uh, that you can get cooperation from. You can get chicks that are, are actually gonna do shit for you. Chicks who are gonna be of service to you. Chicks who are actually gonna bring shit to the table. You feel what I'm saying? Yes. But that's based off of how you come in. You know, as a man. <laughs> what it is. That's all it is. Yeah. It's really that simple. Yeah. It's literally that simple. And that and that and see the the problem with that is again, unfortunately, unfortunately, we got a lot of bitch ass dudes out here. Unfortunately. You understand what I'm saying? And this is why dudes can't even see it. Because unfortunately, men have sort of adapted uh a a, a female ideology. You understand? Where is this thing where, well, why I got to do this? Why I got to do that? As a man, it's your responsibility to do. You understand what I'm saying? So when you talk about why I got to do this, you, you're, like it's like if you if you had if you had let's say if you had a wife and a, and a kid, and you were uh, going to work and you lost your job, right? Are you going to go home and say, damn? Why I got to go get another job? Why I got to feed this baby? Why? That's your responsibility. You feel what I'm saying? So you got to do what you got to do. You feel what I'm saying? If you was if you was on a plane, would you want the pilot in the middle of the air saying, why I got to fucking fly this plane? Why I got to land this shit? Why? You wouldn't want that. You know what I'm saying? So you, you know I, I, mean? I understand that. Right. I'm just more so just discussing the fact that like, I'm not the type of dude that's going to sit here and like, mm. Let's say mm. I do have a wife and kid, right? Mm. I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna be the type of dude that comes home from work and I gotta fight with this bitch on top of handling and you know leading. Right, right, right but this one. Okay, like, wait, stop right there, stop right there, stop right there. Why are you fighting yeah. with your wife? <clears throat> um, I don't know, cause she's unhappy. <laughs> Why is she unhappy? Because she doesn't want to make herself happy. What? Say that again. She doesn't want to make herself happy. No, no, no. She's most likely unhappy because she's in a situation where you're not doing what you're doing. You're not doing, you're not, see, it's, again, it's your responsibility to train your chick to make sure she's not on some bullshit. Because this is the thing, you can't even be my wife if you're gonna, if I'm gonna be fighting with you. F forget right. wife, okay. you, can't, you can't even be my girlfriend if we ever getting into spats like that. You see what I'm saying? Because I'm going to be right, dating right, you, right. hooking up with you, fucking the shit out you, and then that whole time, I'm seeing if you're following my instructions, I'm seeing if you're cooperating, I'm seeing if you're doing what I tell you to do, and we're going to be, I'm going to be, you're going to be having that training for years before I even tell you you could be my girlfriend. Then, once you're my girlfriend, okay, cool, next step, I'm going to be seeing how good you are at, uh, you know, uh, making sure the house is, is right, if I'm bringing you back to my place or whatever. Then maybe you can move in, and I'm going to see how you take care of the home. Then now that you've been trained into understanding, hey, 
you 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 listen to what I'm talking about. You you take care of the home. You take care of this. Take care of that. Then you already become. Then you become my wife. You feel what I'm saying? So now when you're my wife, there's not gonna be no you arguing and bitching with me when I come at home because you've already known that that's not acceptable from years of me teaching you this. You see what I'm saying? And this is why I'm saying that it's our fault because we are the ones who drop the ball. And so a lot of times guys, they get married and in relationships with women who they should have never been in a relationship with, who they should never be married with, ever. You see what I'm saying? Like, I, I got a roommate. I got a roommate that's in that exact same situation right, right now. Exactly. And his his girl comes through, and this bitch is moody. Like I can't stand this. I can't, I can't stand an unhappy girl. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, yeah. It's it's just so annoying. Like she comes through. She drags her stuff. She doesn't smile. Mm -hmm. She. You know what I'm saying? And see and, and see goes, and and that's his girlfriend. Girl. That's his girlfriend. <laughs> Basically. It, girlfriend. Right. And that's his fault that she's like that. You know why? <laughs> because he's rewarded her with the title of girlfriend without her showing that she would be a good girlfriend. You see what I'm saying? And then he's going to end up rewarding her with the title of wife. And he's going to be the same dude coming home who his wife is bitching at, at, at him. And he's going to be like, man, fuck all these bitches. I'm MGTOW. And that's how it happens. Right. So I, I, I guess I guess in, in, in my perfect little world, just like I'm coming to you for some advice, some mm -hmm. training, I feel a bitch should be going to her person for some advice for some training, but that doesn't happen, I guess. That's you talking about for are you saying that women that you saying that women should also do that too? Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah that but that's what I'm saying. They do, do they do that. They also do that. But this is the this is the difference between uh uh us men and, and, and women. Is that for women, what happens is, is that, let's say, for example, because I, I coach women also, right? So I even did a video the other day where I was talking about, um, uh, excuse me, on my women's channel, whatever. I was saying that women need to learn how to cooperate and submit to a man. You understand what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. women know this and they understand this. The problem is, though, is that they run into men who are not leaders. They run into men who are bitching and moaning. So so what happens is, is how is she going to, uh, 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 you know, fit in uh, cooperation and submission when the person who she should be submitting to is as emotional as her? You understand what I'm saying? So this is why I said that it starts with the guy first because when the guy is, is, is in, in place, it gives the woman something to follow. You see what I'm saying? It's like it's like if you were going to work and you walk in you you walk into the building and the building is like the the doors are locked and it's shut down, you can't go into work because the 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 building's not on point. Your job is not on point to open up the doors to make you do what you need to do. So when a man is not on point, it's hard for the woman to be on point. Again, this is what I'm saying, it starts with us. You see what I mean? And so when you're dealing with any particular girl, it's your responsibility as a man to create the situation where you're having the girl that you're with doing the things she needs to do to benefit your life. And in turn, you benefit her life by giving her that leadership and that management. You see what I'm saying? But again, you have a bunch of bitch ass dudes on uh, online, on YouTube, or out here in the world that their 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 whole energy is about complaining about women and you know and, and and oh let me let me let me lie to this chick and do all this other goofy shit you, you see what i'm saying <laughs> yeah. that's what is this it's it's crazy yo mr Macario, speaking like yo like that that is facts that is facts um that's i what remember I'm you know this leading back to like the amina zena conversation that you guys had the, the other day the mm. whole line and shit like mm. you know like like I can definitely see why these, these girls, like, flip out and, mm -hmm. you know, switch up on dudes when they start lying. Mm -hmm. And I got a cousin who just got, like, me too, like, real shit. Mm -hmm. Like, and I don't know what the deal is was, but, like, like I, I, I told him, I was like, look, man, don't lie to these girls. Mm -hmm. And when it comes to, like, dealing with a chick, it's either fuck yes or no. Exactly. You know right. 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 Real shit. And that's what, and this is what I'm saying, like. See, you, you can't, and this is the thing. When the girl finds out you lied, 
right? Because this is the thing. Guys have been lying so much that women, some women at first already assume you're lying, which is why you don't get cooperation in the first place. Because she's trying her best to figure out if you're lying or not. So from the jump, she already assumes you're lying. So she's trying to figure out if, but she's trying to find out for sure, which is why you don't get the cooperation. You see what I'm saying? Right. If you were already honest, it's the beginning of the cooperation because now she knows what she's dealing with. And if she is in that situation where she wants to follow your program, she will because your program is what it is. The problem is, though, is that when a woman finds out that you are not who you claim to be, she doesn't respect you anymore. And when she doesn't respect you anymore, the cooperation, the compliance, all that goes out the window. And this is where you get the girls who are fucking uh, going to act crazy, act belligerent. And then you're going to have these guys talking about, yo, how come these girls doing that bullshit? Blah, 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 blah. You feel what I'm saying? And that's because you didn't know how to really uh, interact with a woman to show her what it was in the first place so that she'll understand that you are consistent. Whenever you're lying, all you're basically telling her is that I'm not the guy that you thought I was. You understand? And so when you do that, all you're doing is the same thing I was saying earlier. She's, she's doing A, B, and C because you're doing A, B, and C. Now that she sees that you're doing D, E, and F, She's like, fuck doing A, B, and C. And then you get mad and say, how come she ain't doing A, B, and C? It's your fault. Because you were lying and not being a man. This is what I've been trying to tell you. It's like, it's so crazy. It's like, it kills me because I see dudes going through shit. And I'm like, you're going through this because you're not manning up. You're going through this because you're just trying to get pussy. You feel what I'm saying? That's it. It's like, it's crazy. And you know what? I've, I've been on the other end of that same scenario. Like, like there was a girl that I had to talk to for a minute, mm-hmm. and I found out the entire time she was lying, son. Mm-hmm. Like, she, she, she flaked on me mm-hmm. because she needed to take some exams mm-hmm. because she was trying to get into med school, right? Right. The night that she flaked on me was a Thursday. Mm-hmm. Tell me why I got a section at this one spot. Mm-hmm. And my homeboy, his girlfriend, he one of her friends, mm. and they were in the section right next to us. And wow. she looked mad stupid when I, when I caught her. And like, <laughs> ever since then, I've, I've never respected her again. She's been trying to get at me. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. And it's, it's, it's just, to, it, it's disgusting. It's like, you know what I'm saying? Because you're thinking somebody's trying to better themselves, trying to do better in their lives, trying mm. to make the right moves and like, you know what I'm saying? Do the right thing. And then they're, they're out here on some fuck shit, like. When they don't have their shit together, like it's it's, it's whack, it's foul. But yeah, no, uh, you know, thanks for taking my call, so I call you. I know these other guys when we get through. Yeah, and, man, uh, you're real shit, man. I appreciate the call, bro. All right. All right, no problem, man. All right, peace later. All right, peace. Yeah, man, you guys got to understand that the, the, a lot of the the fucking bullshit that you're going through with these chicks is because of you know, <laughs> it's because you're not you're not doing what you got to do. Yo, what's going on? Yo, Mr. Ocario. What's poppin'? Who's this? Nike Zoo. What up, bro? What's going on, bro? Yo, I, I just finished watching that video I, I saw, like, it happened a few weeks ago, like, with the social experiment that happened, like, in New York. Okay, what, the, what you talking about with the girl who, the Tinder shit? Yeah, bro, that, that, that made me so angry, bro. Mm-hmm. I know that. That's... I, mean, I, I mean, like the the thing that really got me is like, what kind what what kind of dumbass beta male do you have to do like to actually go up? I literally traveled from Canada all the way up just 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 to see some some below average looking chick. Mm. What well, that that's what and, happens, and, man. So, and the thing that really made me angry is like when when she literally said, "If you if you're five foot ten and shorter, you need to get out." Mm. I mean, like, are you being for real? If, if a man would have said something like that, he he would have been castrated. Well, well, TV. well. Look, well, look. That's that's that. I'm I'm actually see. It's funny because part of that, uh, I'm actually glad shit like that happens. Because trust me, uh, some of them dudes got a wake up call. You feel what I'm saying? No, 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 they didn't. They're no, not gonna change. They're gonna keep up. No, no, no. So, I'm doing. telling you, there's at least one guy in that crowd who got a wake up call, who understood. Oh shit! Like, like I've been fucking up. Most of them, most of them, like, you're right. They're not going to even notice. They're not even going to know what the fuck is going on. You feel what I'm saying? 
<laughs> We're doing dumb push-ups. Right. That, that, is, that is ridiculous. Right. So, you know, that that's what happens. But, you know, some of these dudes... It, but again, it's still, it's still, this is why it's important for guys to understand the game. It's important for guys to be on, on, on their shit, on their purpose, so that they can really, uh, you know, be about what they really need to be about. Because if you was on top of your shit, you wouldn't be doing no goofy shit like that. You understand what I'm saying? So, but, but you know, know I, I, I don't consider myself like an alpha male. I'm more of a gamma, I think. Mm-hmm. But as, as I, as I, this, I don't be doing dumb stuff like that. I've mm. never bought, like, girls, like, stuff like that. I don't be simping or any of that stuff, but, mm. like, have some tough respect, you know? Like, goddamn, bro. Mm-hmm. Not nah, real talk, but as you know, and this is why but guys like, need... I, I came to call for the, the real the real deal, like... Right. You know, c- cuffing season's uh, just around the corner, man, mm-hmm. and it's already starting to get kind of uh, slow, and there's less and less women out here, bro. Oh, yeah, that's so, what you, Right. Uh, but, like... I've been trying to get my feet wet, like, within the last few weeks. Mm-hmm. Watching women, but, like, what is your opinion on this? I, I call it feeling out. Mm-hmm. So, like, I see a girl, like, I, I walk up to her, I just introduce myself, like, m- with my name, and she calls, uh, she she says her name. Mm-hmm. Like, feeling out, it basically means how she reacts, mm-hmm. you know, like, to the initial thing. She reacts good, I, I try to get the phone number. Mm-hmm. Should I not be doing that? Or no, like well, that's the thing. You, this is, no, that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to see how the girl's reacting to your, your, um, you know, how you're coming at her. You understand no, what I'm saying? I'm, I'm starting to see patterns. It, it is working. Like one time, I, I like, I say, "Hey, how's it going? Like, what's your name?" Mm-hmm. And she like very, very cold and distant. Mm-hmm. And then I done for another girl, polar opposite Ooh. reaction. Right, and that's why, and that's why you gotta play the numbers game because one girl will act cold and distant, another girl will be fucking, you know, real warm to you. You know what I'm saying? And this is why you need to be able to to like see the um, you'll, you'll be able to see like, yeah, Sorry. you'll be able to see like uh, if she's actually like you know interested, and then you keep it pushing, you keep it going. If she's not, you just keep it moving, and it's really that simple. So you don't waste a lot of time. You see what I'm saying? But yeah, that's good that you I, do I, that. I really wish I could get on the bad boy membership, like, because you said you have a program called Reading Women. I, I've been trying. I wish I could get that, like, mm. like, because, because you know, there's some social women, like, you know, social butterflies. Right, right. Well, yeah, that's how, the thing. How the, how the hell can you tell the difference that she really likes you mm. or she's just being friendly? You, you just another dude. Because there's just well, one well, this is the thing. I right? give you, I give you, I give you one tip. You know, that that's really, really, uh, you know, the the more universal tip is to figure out if a girl really likes you or if she's just sort of like being nice or playing around. What up, dude? Dude, what? 212? He said, call the accident for a free handout. Nah, I'm, I'm going to tell you. The thing, the, the, the thing that most of you guys need to do is in any situation that you're dealing with a girl to find out if she's really, really feeling you is that you have to, at some point in the conversation or in the interaction, you have to turn it sexual. So if you're talking to a girl and you know you're just having a pleasant conversation or whatever everything's cool, you at some point gotta start flirting and then turn it into. And the more sexual you get, the better. So like if you're talking to a girl just on some small talk shit and then you say to her, let's say you start off with something light, like you're just asking her regular shit, you know how you doing, where you from, blah blah blah, and then you get into the flirting, you be like, yo, you got some like really nice eyes. Now that's some PG thirteen flirting. You understand? That's some regular shit. But she. So, but now she's seeing that you're flirting. So now by you saying, look, you got some nice eyes, how is she responding to you? Is she smiling about it? Is she, is she blushing? You understand? Is, is she being positive? Is she being, uh, uh, is she showing a positive reaction to it? If she's very neutral, you understand? Is she doing that? Is she being standoffish when you say that? Like, you got to be able to look at these things. If she's responding positively, then you continue. You see what I'm saying? And then, so it's really just being aware of how the girl is responding to whatever you're doing. You see what I'm saying? And then so the more you but, do you this... Know, that's, the, that's the problem that really gets me, though. This, you know, there was a, a long time ago, there was mm-hmm. like this uh, attention whore in my workplace. She, mm-hmm. she she would act like that around mm-hmm. a lot of dudes. And mm-hmm. she, would act, she would talk to very sexual and everything. Mm-hmm. And she would even say the words DTF. Mm-hmm. Like, how the, how the hell can you tell then? Right, I, well, know, that's, I know it's all bullshit. Right, but that's the thing you have. That's what I'm saying. You have to turn it, turn it up a notch. You have to tell, like, let's say, for example, 
you got some you girl get together in the hotel and do this, right? Right, exactly. You see what I'm saying? You got to be like, listen, what you doing on Friday? Oh, um, not the, okay. Listen, um, I'm gonna need you to meet me at hotel such and such, and we gonna fuck. I'm gonna fuck the shit out of you. You understand what I'm saying? Now, yeah. at that point, it's either we doing it or not. So. If she's on some, oh, I don't, that means she's a cock tease. That means she's on some, you know, she's not really about what she's about when you thought it was going to be with you and her. You understand what I'm saying? So that's what I'm saying. The more sexual you get, the more you can see if she's into it or not. Because chicks will talk shit. They will pretend that they're, they're down to do whatever. But once it gets to the actual real deal about it, that's when you'll see. You understand? And that goes for anything. Like, for example, if you're talking to a... Wow, say again? One last thing. This, this, this is going to be the last thing mm. before I leave. What is the true definition of maybe? I always, I always get this um, definition thrown around, but mm. what is maybe? Like, like a lot of dudes say it means no. A lot of dudes mm. say there, there's probably a second chance, but I believe it, it means no. Yeah, maybe maybe know. is basically no. Maybe, maybe is attention whore language. You understand what I'm saying? Is Damn, it, dude. It's either yes or no. Like, <laughs> you know, this is um, quote unquote. Like there, I don't, there's, there's no such thing as a good girl, but mm. uh, this is like this girl who's very quiet, and mm. she's very shy, and, and I and I gave her my phone, and she was like, I don't know, I'll think about it, maybe. Yeah, that's a no. It's a tension horseshit, right? Right, exactly. That's a no. Understand this: when a woman it likes makes, you, when no. a woman likes you, oh, let me tell you this: when a woman likes you, right? It's it's. She's gonna make shit, and this is what I'm talking about. When a woman really likes you, she's gonna make shit as easy as possible. You understand? Oh, when a woman, when a woman's feeling you, she's gonna make this shit so easy for you to get it going. So if she's talking about maybe and all this other stuff, that's that's basically a no. That's basically her sort of figuring out. Okay, well maybe I can waste this guy's time. Maybe I can, uh, you know, uh, you know, have him run around and, and do some shit for me. That's what that's what they're thinking. You see what I'm saying? Damn. So like the next time I hear maybe I just. Just, just, I just, I don't know, like, like I call her out on her bullshit and just, um, you know, because I'm a savage dude. I just, I just call her out on her bullshit. And just, I mean, you just, can, you can be like, listen, be like, listen, girl, we ain't doing that maybe shit. I know you want to fuck me, so here's my number. When you come to your senses, holla at your boy. That's it, and you just keep that shit pushing. That's uh, what you gotta yeah. do. <laughs> you know what I'm so, saying? I'll, I'll let other callers call in. Um, this Nike is on flight, that one, man. All right, bro, I'm holla at you. All right, peace, peace. Yeah, that's the thing, man. Chicks be on that maybe shit. That's why you guys got to get the new Bad Boy membership program, which is about time wasters, because that's some time wasting shit. All that maybe goofy shit. Yo, what's going on? Who's this? Yo, what up, Lucario the 70 plus, man? What up, bro? What's the deal? What, what? What up, man? I called in, man. I was sitting here. I just, I just caught your show, man, and I was sitting here like, damn, man. I must. I must got more knowledge about it than what I thought because like <laughs> everything that you was pretty much just telling him, mm-hmm. I already I was just like doing that stuff just in practice of like right. over the years like out there like when he was asking the questions about like how do you know mm-hmm. uh, when they just playing around and stuff like that and you said something that I exactly do with them mm-hmm. like when I'm sitting there talking to them. Well, first of all, the only thing he said differently than what I would do differently, I, I ain't with all that taking their number, man. Here, they, right. they gonna have to take mine. I'm gonna cut down on the attention horn all together. Mm-hmm. So, you know, as I'm standing there, just kind of talking to them, and if they get to the point where they acting like they open to my number or whatever the case may be, mm-hmm. I do that exact same thing. But here's the thing that I start doing a little bit even before I even give them the number. Mm-hmm. I might pause in between the conversation. And I straight up asked, I do this with all of them. Like, I asked them straight up, what you what you looking for? Because mm-hmm. I don't figure it out so well. Most of them going to say some BS. Like, if they're not interested, they're going to be like, oh, I'm just looking for friends or whatever. Right, right. So the, the, the next thing I come back around with, as soon as they say that friend thing, because I got you right there, you will BS or so. I'm going to flip it a little bit. Okay, mm-hmm. you don't say a friend, so I'm going to tell you what kind of friendship that I'm offering. The only friendship that I offer is something romantic and freaky, freaky right, or whatever. Right. So if I'm saying that to them right there, I'm right there in front of them. I can look at their body language. Mm-hmm. I got you right there. I can listen to your tone of voice. Mm-hmm. And so, like, some of them, like the ones that were just planning on trying to just play and waste my time, it's just funny. I wish I had a camera I could show you all. Mm-hmm. Like, you would, you would see, like, their body language. Like, even in the midst of them smiling, like, damn, man, I... 
Whatever I was getting ready to BS with him, I don't know if I was going to waste his time on the phone when I was bored. This man just straight up exactly. told me. He straight up told me what it was. He paused before he gave me the number. Because mm-hmm. I'm sitting up there acting like I want to accept his number. Knowing I'm on some BS. Mm-hmm. He straight up got to the nitty gritty with me of what, what our interaction is going to be about. Exactly. If I decide to interact with him later on in the future. Mm-hmm. So I can do, so that leaves her in a situation. She can do one or two things. She can still call herself trying to play the game, which they're still not going to go far. Because what I'm going to do, okay, if she be like, yo, cool, go ahead and give me the number. I'm going to give her the number. Let's say she hit me up anyway, right? Sometime they hit you up. Mm. They still on some BS. Guess what I'm going to go directly to? Right. That last conversation that we was having about that stuff. Because what I'm doing right now is called a process of elimination. I'm testing your guns. I'm testing her to see if she's really about what she was announcing when mm-hmm. she's before me because I know they play games and I know their emotions change. Mm-hmm. So I'm steadily putting it on her mind and I'm steadily letting her know if you interact with him, you, you're going you gonna to have to be down to do whatever. If you don't find this dude sexually attractive, if you're not attracted to this dude, mm-hmm. you might as well either just lose his number, don't call him or nothing because the only conversation, for the most part, y'all going to be talking about or it's going to lead back up to that stuff that you deep down inside don't want to do with him. Right. I've I've, I've gotten a lot of women out the, out, out the way like that, man. I got I just striked off an attention whore. Mm-hmm. Um, that was, it was funny, man. Like a chick had went ghost. I told her what it was. She agreed. Mm-hmm. And she went ghost. And I, I, I was like, cool. I, I deleted it. The chick hit me back. I didn't even know who she was because I get rid of numbers so fast. Right. She like sent me a picture and, you know, was talking about some goofy stuff that didn't have nothing to do with nothing. Guess what I do? Mm. Hey, what's up? Are you trying to do that? These, the, these are the only things I'm saying to. I know you ghosted, so you definitely boo the call if you come back. Yo, right, yo what, what's right. up? You trying to come through? Mm. Only thing I'm saying on the ticket, yo, yo, what's up? You trying to come through? Mm. She on the going on and oh yeah, how are you? Then I meet you at the set trying to act like she. Hey, yo, what's up? You trying to come through? Mm. Oh man, I'm at the, oh yo, I'm at the restaurant. She might even send a picture. Yo, what's up? You trying to come through? Mm-hmm. That's all I, I swear to God, my sister. That's all I kept saying. In between, like, yo, yo, what's up? You trying to come through? Mm-hmm. And and she got tired of, like, no matter what she said, no matter what she tried to take the conversation, yo, what's up? You trying to come through? <laughs> she didn't have no choice. Get what she eventually did. Like, man, fuck it. She's just like, fuck it, man. I'm going to just, I'm going to quit. This this, this ain't playing with my ass. I'm going to have to either play his game or I'm just going to have to sit down to the left, man. Right, exactly. <laughs> that's what, and that's how you got to do it. That's how you got to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, that's all, and, that, and that's my method for all of them, man. Like, I, I, I took it out of the way. Like, it's, everybody's method is different. But that's my little method since I done learned, like, everything's a fucking game to them or whatever. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, now, some, now there are certain cases with certain women. I've learned this from experience, too. Like, I, I'm more of a big mode one fan. Mm-hmm. Some of them you don't have to be mode one with. And this is the reason why I say some of them you don't. Because if you know how to read body language real good, mm-hmm. if some of them, if they're touching you and talking to you in a certain way and they're consistent with their calling back and stuff like that, mm-hmm. you should be able to tell if she like, yo, come on over to the crib and how she's interacting. You should be able to tell, okay, she's interested in me like that, so I don't got to ask her, like, yo, what's up with this and the third, because it's, it's pretty obvious she's open to that. Mm-hmm. Now, for the other now for the other ones that you kind of, like, you're trying to figure out, man, just go for the gusto, man. Mm-hmm. Don't worry about Let her. Know. You, can't lose what you, you, you can't lose what you never had. Exactly. I mean, sometimes, now that I think about it, now that I look back at it, like an older guy used to tell me when I used to ask him stuff about women, he like, man, you're making it harder than what it is. Mm. And I really didn't comprehend what he was saying. But now that I've gotten a little bit older and I start dealing with them, mm. I see what he's saying. Like, man, look, if you just pay attention, some of this stuff is just common sense. It's right. body language. Just mm. pay attention. You know, one plus one is two. How many times you going to keep going through life without figuring it out? You know what I'm saying? Right, right. And that's the thing. A lot of these dudes out here, the problem is, is that they've been dealing with so many uncooperative chicks that the uncooperative uh, situations have become the norm. So the, the problem is when do see uh, a lot of guys come at the game thinking women don't like them in the first place. So dudes think that they got to do a whole song and dance, do a whole bunch of shit to eventually convince this girl that doesn't like them to like them. You see what I'm saying? And so that's why they go through all of the bullshit. Instead of just let, letting the girl know what it is, getting to the point, and, and 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 what you're doing, just like you was telling the girl, hey, do you want to come through? You're directing the flow of the conversation to where it needs to go. You see what I'm saying? And so when a woman realizes that, 
you're either is one of two things gonna happen. She's gonna be the girl who already wants to fuck with you already, so she's gonna just jump on it, or she may be the type of chick who uh doesn't really want to fuck with you, but then she's gonna bounce anyway because she knows she ain't got no room to play games. You see exactly. what I'm saying? That's what they did. That's what I was telling them. Like when, right. you, when you go for it, like because there's a lot of guys that some guys are here. They still believe in that dinner and the movie thing. Mm. Me personally, I don't understand why a guy is taking a woman out that's not his woman yet. Mm. She ain't classified herself. You, you take her out to get her to like you. Mm. Stop with this trying to get you. You can't get another human being to do nothing outside of what they internally was already open to do mm. themselves anyway. Just like she can't get you. To like her out the blue if she do a certain something if you find her ugly and she cook for you mm. is that supposed to make her make you like her no it's not you be right. like yeah she's a nice person she cook but ain't nothing else happening right okay same thing <laughs> but you know what I'm saying like there's a way like I said like feel free to steal it that's that's my process of elimination I say things in front of them that will put them in a position where mm. it's like damn I can't really you know what I'm saying BS and like I said right. I ain't even adding the fact that I got that one call that's all thing going on where even if she texts me her number on some attention or stuff, I'm only calling you once. Mm. You're only going to get one text message from me anyway, so you're not finna have me in your roller decks of guys. Yeah, I got him calling ten times. I got this one. Mm. Nah, I swear to God, you only see that Google number in your phone. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up. And it's, and it's deleted after you didn't pick it up after I run it five times. It's deleted just that fast because I never really saved it. Mm. Only thing I did was I went up onto the call log where you called me I hit call. Your ass don't pick up in the game. And the reason I can do that because I have stuff to compare it to. I compared it to, well, I'm probably close to 80 now when I count the women I mess with in Jamaica. Oh, shit. But, so you, got, you, have to call yeah. you, you have to call you 80 uh, plus dude, Ralph? You, you have to change yeah, the name. Yeah, I, might, I, might, I, might be close, I, stopped, I might be about close to probably 80 for real now because I, I know, like, when I went out to Jamaica, I hit like five of them or whatever, like four or See, five we, of them. We got it. We got it. We got it. We got to change the name. You got to call it next time and be like, "Yo, it's eighty plus dude right here, son." You feel me? Yeah, saying? yeah, man. But like, like I said, like when I called the last time, like, man, when you get out there, you will have notes to compare it to. Like mm. I feel like everybody plays games. All women, they have a different little angle. Mm. Me, I'm, I'm at an adult age. I understand you're gonna be dealing with a game where you deal with women, but some women come with less others. So me, I chose to just be like, let me go overseas with it. I like the cooperation better over there in the femininity, you know what I'm saying? But you need to still get off the curve over here and go out and about and meet women so you can find out what you like and you can have notes. And then when people do certain things, you'll be like, damn, I've seen that before. Oh, yeah, she just playing. Because when I said this, she reacted like this or she didn't call or whatever it is. Mm. And just like you throw that caller, man, let, fellas, I'm going to tell y'all this and I'm going to get out the phone. If a chick tell you anything about maybe anything about in relation to you, or I think about it. Mm -hmm. tell, I tell you what, when you're done thinking, holler at me. But you know, I'm going for right now. You enjoy the rest of your night. Right. Well, enjoy the rest of your day. Right. Exactly. And, and you and, and you done. You don't you don't stand there because even if you tap dance for a lot of guys don't realize this too. You're gonna find yourself looking way more unattractive in her eyes mm -hmm. than ever because mm -hmm. one thing a woman don't respect deep down inside she's already not attracted. Because look at what she said to you. Mm -hmm. But the fact that you're kissing her ass, that lets her know you're not even a masculine guy. You exactly. obviously probably don't have you obviously don't have other people to speak with you. You obviously don't have other things that make you happy mm -hmm. that you feel like this person just because she has a big butt, a cute face, you feel like you gotta do all this stuff. And she ain't bringing no value. She just she just put on some makeup that covers her ugly face and you know what I'm saying, put a push up bra on and walk out the house and you you, you treat her like she a Fortune five hundred job or something like mm -hmm, that. Mm -hmm. Have some pride in yourself. Learn how to learn how to say no too. Learn how to walk away and be like, Well damn, you know what? I asked this bitch once. She didn't reply the way that I wanted her to reply. This is my standard when I deal with women. I have no problem having no female versus having one or two non cooperative. Mm -hmm. That's how you gotta get with it. Right, right. I'm gone, man. I'm gonna let y'all have y'all still back now. <laughs> That's what's up, bro. I appreciate it, man. I appreciate the call, bro. Always dropping oh, yeah, that good game. I said I love her, too. <laughs> All right, I got you. <laughs> All right, bro. I'm All right, peace. Peace. Man. That's crazy. Dude, what, two and two, you say you're about to be 100 plus dudes. Real talk. It's gonna be, that's going to be it soon. That's going to be it soon. Real shit. All right, let me see what's popping. Yo, what's going on? Who's this? Uh, my bad, I just woke up. <laughs> what's going on, bro? 
Um, today in college, right? Mm-hmm. Remember I told you about, uh, I did. I think I did, but I told you about, you know, the 10 girl. Mm-hmm. Everybody still trying to get at her, but for some reason, she, like, you know, a person, uh, like, like, hover around you. Mm-hmm. So wait, you said that this, then, you said this girl that everybody's trying to get at is hovering around you? Is that what you said? Yeah, like, I don't know why. And then she'd be, she be like, when I uh, turn and get the, you know, the ball or whatever, then she already, like, sitting her way from me to get the ball and looking at me. Mm. But before before that, I had got, got there earlier. And then she's there early. And then I was like, why is she, why is she there early? She's sitting down. And then I guess she thought I was going to talk, uh, talk to her because she was the only one right there. But my coach wanted me to help him. So I went to go help him. And then she's still sitting there. And then some two other girls just came by me, like hover, uh, hover like behind me. And then they grab a ball and then start playing on my court. There was like five other courts right there. And both of them came towards me. Mm. And I'm trying, and I'm trying to do me. And so what, and so what you, so you trying to get with this chick? No, <laughs> the point is, I mean, they be choosing the wrong time when I'm, you know, when you busy type thing. Like when you're doing your purpose mm. and then they be trying to, oh, like, see what you're doing or see if you got a girl, this and that. Like, no, but what I'm saying uh, is, what I'm saying is, is that you talking about the girl that dude just trying to holler at, she checking you out. And other chicks is coming through. So my question to you is, what are you trying to do? I'm trying to smash, but like it's it's in class. Like I don't I don't want to be like, oh, I say I said this to her. I know be real with them, but I want to say. So you like, so so basically so basically you scared to talk to the girls because you scared that if she say no or she ain't trying to do it, you are gonna have to see her in class again. Is that what it is? No, it's not that. It's just like I don't, I don't want to get. Her, I don't want her to get the wrong attention. Like, oh yeah, I'm gonna go tell the te- like the the coach or something. Like because I said what I said. You know, some females are like that. So wait, so you scared that you gonna try to holler at the girl and say something bold, and then she gonna <laughs> and then she gonna go yeah, tell somebody? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what makes you because think she gonna tell I'm, somebody? Because I'm the I'm the type of dude like I don't know for some reason when females see me or if I if I'm gonna holler at them the whole body turn red like you know <laughs> what like <laughs> like they get nervous for some reason and then when I just like I just be like not too close to them but you know give them space and then they be all nervous like super nervous start sweating or or their face get red and then they start stuttering and I'm just sitting there. I talk to her like, oh, uh, so what's up? This and that. Then I be saying some other stuff, and then she like, oh, like she she can't look at me straight in my eye, and I'm looking dead at her, like not moving or nothing, just being confident. It sounds like hold on, wait, let me tell you something. It sounds like you <laughs> might be nervous around these chicks, and you're projecting onto them. You feel what I'm saying? So you saying, so you're saying the energy. Right, that's what it's right. Yeah. That's no, that's what it sounds. Like. It sounds like you might be nervous talking to them, and you're thinking that they're nervous when they're talking to you, which is why you know what I'm saying. Like, that's what it sounds like to me because they they saying that <laughs> in the chat when they saying that that all of this is happening in your imagination. Because I'm asking if you got a hot chick checking you out yeah. and getting near you, why are you scared to make the move? I think she's going to say something to the coach. See, she, listen, but, if she like you, that's she ain't... That's the only problem. Ain't, yeah. look, look, stop listening to the, these MGTOW dudes. She ain't going to go and tell on you. It ain't going to be no big deal. If she Either she's going to want to fuck with you or not. That's it. You know what I'm saying? That's it. Yeah. <laughs> ain't she ain't going to be... Come on. Come on, got juice. You, you know better than that. Come on. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's just like the, the coach thing is fucking me up. Like, that's my business. And I don't want to mix nothing. Now nah, you, you listen, listen. You be good. Just, just, just approach the chick. Tell her what you want yeah. to tell her, and then keep that shit pushing. You know, what I'm, you understand what I'm saying? But you just got to be comfortable doing it. You feel what I mean? As long as see uh, the reason that it's gonna feel funny is if you make it, it feel funny. If you make it awkward, it's gonna be awkward. If you make it chill, it's gonna be chill. That's it. 
So you tell her what you need to tell her, and that's that. So you talk about, all right, if I, I, I already know when I go to her on Wednesday because I got class on Wednesday. Mm-hmm. And then if I have that nervous energy or, or that thought in my head keep thinking over and over, then I project that to her. And then she go in, she probably go feel the energy like, yeah, he ain't ready or something like that. Right, well, this look, just keep this shit simple. You see her, be like, yo, let me talk to you for a second. Yo, listen, um... What you doing this weekend? Let's let's hang out. Let's whatever the f- you doing in your, in your college or whatever it is, and then just set something up. That's it. And then if she's acting all weird or whatever, you understand? Just be like, yo, listen, I'm gonna just give you my number. Whenever you're ready to make something happen, call me. And then you just keep it keep I, it moving. I probably ain't gonna do that. I'm probably gonna go to the other girl then. Yeah, or or do that exactly. That's what I'm saying. So don't don't worry about all that shit. Just just do just do that and don't be scared uh, of 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 I'm, some I'm chick bail. talking. To, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, so I'm going I'm to holler yeah. at you, though, all right? Let me know what happens, all right? All right? Okay. All right, peace. Thank you. Yeah, man, you got to get out your head, man. You just got to do this shit. Yeah, so you, you guys might be hearing some stuff in the background. That's that's my wife cooking me dinner, okay? Sorry. <laughs> oh, man. It's crazy. You said, um, man, Notorious Bleezy B was probably, what are you saying? You said, why y'all talking down, acting like most of us haven't been there? Oh, you talking about how they, y'all clowning? Crazy. Man. You guys are hilarious in the chat room right now. But yeah, man, you, you guys got to, you know, don't be scared of these chicks, man, or be scared to, to make moves. That be stopping a lot of dudes. Dudes be thinking, like, the world's going to end. They be like, oh, I don't want to talk to her because she's going to call the the, <laughs> the fire department on me. She's going to call the cops and everything. They're going to shut down the block. They're going to have helicopters in the air looking for me because I tried to holler at this girl. Man, crazy, ridiculous. Like Francisco, you said, <laughs> said put your 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 pretty wife on the on on the live real quick. Nah, man. Conflict of interest. <laughs> nah, man. We're not gonna do all that. Because the the, the 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 internet be on that bullshit, so y'all could just y'all could just fuck with me. You feel what I'm saying? That's what y'all gonna do. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Man, was that what you, what you saying over there? Let me see. Hold on. Oh, okay, got gotcha. you. Right, right. Nah, and so, and so the thing is, is that I don't put my wife on here because of, you know, she does things, you know, her professional life is, 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 you know, that's some separate shit. You feel what I'm saying? And that's what, that's what people don't understand. Let me, let me talk about that for a second. See, what, what some of y'all guys don't understand out here is that. The stuff that you do on the internet, right? It can affect your life outside the internet, right? So a lot of the shit that I talk, right, could affect other people that I know, like my family, my friends or whatever. So this is why I don't put uh, too many of their faces out like that. You see what I'm saying? Just like how... You have people on Facebook, you could write a certain status and get fired from your job. You understand what I'm saying? So, you know, you guys got to understand that shit. This is some real life shit. Dudes will be on that goofy shit. I'm like, look, man, get, get this game. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> like, Get this game. That's what you need to get. 
So, you know. Oh, my goodness. But, um, but what else is going on, people? What else is popping off in this chat room? We're going to go for another 15 minutes. Then I got to get up out of here. Eat some food, do some shit. Richard Stiley says, social media can hurt your personal life. Watch what you post. Exactly. Exactly. See, you know, the reason why I can be out here like this is because this is how I make money. You feel what I'm saying? So maybe th this is this is this is what I'll say. This is what I'll say. Maybe maybe at some point, uh, you know, um, when I get rich, because <laughs> motherfuckers ain't rich yet. When I get rich, things will change. Okay, but as of right now, this is what it is. Jermaine Joji said, keep your personal business to yourself, bro. Exactly. That's what, that's what dudes don't understand. Dudes that, you know, because this is the thing. When you're out here doing your thing, right? You are putting out a product, a service, and all this other stuff. And I understand why people are like, oh, I want to see your wife because I want to see the type of woman you get and all this other stuff, right? Now, the thing is with that is this, and I'll say this when it comes to that. And, and you can take this how you want to take it, but I'll, I'll elaborate a little more, but I'm just going to say it like this. Those who, sh those who show don't have, and those who have don't show. I'm going to say that again. Those who show don't have, and those who have don't show. You understand? And so what I mean by that is this, is that when you look at a rapper, let's say a rapper, for instance, a rapper, hold on, I'm going to take a call in a second, but I got I to gotta get this point out. I'm going to take a call in a second. What a rapper might do, I'm, I'm going to say what that means in a second, uh, po uh, political guy, right? What a rapper is going to do is he's going to put on a whole bunch of chains. He's going to put on a whole bunch of rings. He's going to flash a whole bunch of money. Why? Because he's not really that rich. Right? Look at someone like Bill Gates. Look at someone like Warren Buffett. Right? Those who show don't have. Those who have don't show. You understand? So there's girls that I've been dealing with and all this other stuff that I could take pictures of, put them up, you know, and all this other goofy shit and be like, oh, look at this, look at me, whatever. You understand what I'm saying? But I don't need to do that because I know I have. You see what I'm saying? Usually people who sh are showy, showy, right? It's because they're trying to prove something to you. You feel what I'm saying? That's why they do it. Now, I'm not saying that, you know, uh, certain coaches, if they show, you know, them uh, picking up girls or pickup artists, whatever, that's cool. You understand? If they want to do that. You feel what I mean? But that's not what I'm here for. And so it's it's just a different uh, it's just a different type of paradigm when it comes to this shit because the thing is with 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 I'll say for example with other women that I've dealt with or whatever right when you're dealing with, and let me let me tell you guys something about it again when you're dealing with certain women right certain women that you deal with. Or not even certain women, but I'll say all women. When you deal with women, women are fucking uh, uh, detectives. So even the other day I put up a video about social media and a guy asked about, hey, should you share your social media? And basically, even if you don't, unless you have your social media on private, 
a girl will will find your social media. She'll check out all your shit and whatever, right? So now, let's say if let's say if you try to get with a chick and she goes on your social media and she sees pictures of you with your your face on chick's asses and licking booty. You feel what I'm saying? So now what's going to happen is because she may be trying to be discreet, you feel what I'm saying? She's not going to want to fuck with you. You understand? You're like a person who, who talks too much. You feel what I'm saying? So, so dudes got to understand it. And the thing is this. This, because I get this question all the time. People be like, yo, Mr. Locario, why you don't put out any infill videos? And I say, first of all, I'm not a pickup artist, okay? So I don't do infill videos. If you want to see me in field, get some coaching and I'll coach you in field and you can see me in field. You feel what I'm saying? That's, that's when you see me in field. And anyone who's took in, who's had coaching with me in person knows what the fuck I'm talking about. Or who's went to one of my events and we hang out after and they see what the fuck we're talking about, um, what I'm talking about. So you got to see it in real life. Cause see, and, I, and again, this is what I said all the time. And this is how, this is how, you know, if you're on top of your game and you're actually a critical thinker and you're smart versus if you're a dumbass. Okay. A smart person would say. If I saw a video with Mr. Locario in it approaching women, how do I know he didn't set that all up? Right? That's a person who thinks critically. If you see a, a picture of me with a whole bunch of girls or dealing with a whole bunch of girls, a smart person would say, how do I know that Mr. Locario's fucking this girl or not? Right? I could literally get a random woman in here and say, hey guys, this is my wife. And you'd all believe it. Right? Except for the smart people who think critically. Because they'll be like, well, maybe that isn't his wife. Maybe he just hired some chick. You feel what I'm saying? So that's the thing that, uh, you know, people got to understand. Because... I get emails all the time when people be asking me this. They're like, yo, Mr. Lucario, what's your infill videos? And this and this and that. And I'm like, I've been, for years, I've been getting people asking me this. I'm like, dude, I'm not a pickup artist. I don't do that shit. And the thing is, you can never uh, trust anything that you're seeing on this internet because it can all be orchestrated. You see what I'm saying? So until you actually are standing next to me in the flesh going to pick up girls nothing i show you matters as far as me with a woman you understand what i'm saying so that's what dudes got to understand like you got to think critically about this game and that's what makes me sad is because dudes don't think critically you see what i'm saying they don't think critically because I could show you anything and you you will never know if it's real or if it's fake. You see what I'm saying? So what I say is don't even worry about that because that's not even relevant. Because until you're there in the flesh, all of that shit could be bullshit. So if, 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 if you're not 100% sure, that means that you can't take that into account. So, you know, I watch pickup artist videos. I think it's entertaining watching the guys talking to the girls and all this other shit. It's very entertaining. I like those things. But I take it for entertainment. The real thing is you have to take what you learn and apply it to yourself so that you can get what you need. You see what I'm saying? That's what you got to do. That's what you got to do. So you guys got to understand that, man. 
So, you know, that's the thing, man. It's, it's, it's crazy. That's what it is, man. That's what it is. But yeah, because I, I don't want, I, I really don't want you guys to get uh, caught up in, in nonsense and get confused by certain things. You understand? And that's why I never really uh, was about that in the first place. Because if you notice, if you notice, let me tell you guys something. If you notice, right? If you notice, oh, I'm going to take calls in one second. Uh, notorious Bleezy stop trolling and that's what I'm talking about and this is what I was talking about next if you notice what I what I focus on whenever you see any of my videos is game right that's it I focus on the game focus on the game that's 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 why you first stumbled upon any video I've ever done and started watching it because of the game, because of the information, because of how you can take the information and apply it to yourself. Now, if you haven't seen a million videos of guys approaching women in the street, then I don't understand. I don't understand what, 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 why do you still need to see that? You know what I'm saying? Like, why do you still need to see that? Again, it's entertaining, but why do you still need to see that? You understand? So that's that's what it is, man. You gotta you gotta focus on the important shit. I focus on the important shit, which is uh, elevating your mind in the game because like see when I watch when I watch people's channels I'm only watching people's channels who are talking about things that can benefit me that can expand my mind you understand especially when it, when it comes to the, when it comes to the game now of course you go watch a channel for some goofy shit if it's funny here and there but what I'm talking about is if I'm watching your channel and you're not talking about game, but you're supposed to be uh, teaching guys game. Then what the fuck am I watching the channel for? You know what I'm saying? Like, so just keep it to the game. And that's that. You said, who do I watch? I watch um, Alan Roger Curry, Ron Will, Steve the Dean. Um, Humble Wolf, I actually watched some of your videos um, a few times. Um, oh, my dude, Eddie Fuse, of course. I watch uh, Todd Valentine. I watch RSD. And this is just game game videos and stuff I'm talking about. You feel what I'm saying? And so I need to watch shit that, that can elevate my mind. You feel what I'm saying? So if it's not elevating my mind, I don't watch it. Because all it's going to do is, if I watch it, it's going to get me into a, 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 a mindset of, like, so, because even, even a lot of the, the, um, the, the MGTOW dudes videos, I can't watch it because, for what? You feel what I'm saying? And that's no, even, that's no shade to, to them. I just, it's just that, what, it, how is my mind elevating from that? He said RSD is getting weird now. Now nah, RSD is still on point, especially like now. You know they they starting to talk about a bunch of like, um, you know I know uh what's the dude, I think Julian he talks a lot of like self help shit. Oh yeah, Corey Wayne. I watch Corey Wayne. He does a lot of good shit. Oh Dan Bacon is the is the man. Shout out to Dan Bacon. Dan Bacon know what what the fuck is up. So again, I watch I watch dudes, uh, you know, where I can learn shit from. If I can't learn anything, I don't watch it. You feel what I'm saying? And that's really all it is. You feel I me? Mean? Like that's all it is. 
You feel me? What time is it? It's like 9 o'clock already and shit. But listen, guys. I gotta head out in a second. So remember, get How to Have Sex with Two Women a Day, the ebook, hard copy, and audio book. Make sure you guys get that. You go to mrlocario.com. You feel me? Um, also, make sure you guys join the Bad Boy membership. Um, next month, I'm gonna be dropping the, the, the joint about time wasters. You feel me? Well, let me take this one last call. Let me take it real quick. EO, what's going on? Who's this? Hey, it's Ross of Southern California. What's popping? What's going on, bro? Um, yeah, so, um, so remember I told you about that, uh, the girl that I've been seeing for like five months now? Um, I forgot you gotta uh, jog my memory again. What happened with her? Okay, so, um, yeah, like, so I've been seeing her for like about five months now. Mm. Um, she's an older woman, mm. and... You know, I mean, things have been going great so far in a relationship, mm. but it's just that recently she's been like um, texting me um, sometimes, um, like, why didn't I like uh, text back, like, or call her back, like, or contact her, like, you know, uh, within like one or two days, or like, why does it take me like five hours to reply? Mm-hmm. Is that, I don't know, is that supposed to be normal? Because this is honestly my, my, my first very uh, real relationship I've ever been in. Wait, so, and so, hold on, wait. Is this a woman that you're just, like, dating? Or is this, like, your girlfriend or something? I, not officially my committed girlfriend, but it, it's getting to be that way. And you haven't seen each other for how long? You said five months? Yeah, we've been seeing each other for yeah almost six months. Mm -hmm. Right, and then she's and so she's saying, "How can you not calling me? How can you not texting me? All this other shit." Yeah, like not a lot of times, but like sometimes. I mean, am I supposed to like at this stage like now like contact her like every few hours? No. Listen, let me tell you something. What you need to do is you need to let her know. First of all, that her her even coming at you like that is not cool. So you need to let her know, hey, listen, um, you coming at me, asking me why I'm not calling you or texting you, that's unacceptable. What I'm going to do is I'm going to call you or text you when I feel like calling you or texting you. That's it. That's it. That's all you say to her. You see what I'm saying? And so... That's not too... Say it again? Sorry, I... It's not, that's not like too harsh or being like. No, cold. no, that's not harsh at all. That's, that's, that's what you need to say to her. You see what I'm saying? Like, and that's the thing. Don't, don't make it, don't make it a thing where it's harsh for you to be straight up with the girl. That's the thing. You're making, you're, you're making it. Cause see, this is the thing. You don't want to get into a relationship with a woman where you're just sort of doing the thing she says. So you don't want to, you, the, what, the, the way you don't want to respond is that you don't want to say, oh, I'm sorry, how, many, how much times do you want me to call you? Okay, I'll call you every day now. And it, you don't want to do any of that type of shit. What you're doing is you're setting the precedent. You're setting this, the, the stage as to how you and her relationship is going to be. Now, you know, you, don't, you can say what I said any way you want, but that same delivery, ha that same message has to be caught there. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, I see. So where it's like, this is firmly like how, you know, I want to like conduct a relationship. Or right. Be like, listen, you know, you. right. Be like, listen, it's cool that we talk. But what I'm going to what I, when I need you to let what I need to what I need for you to know is, is that I'm going to text you when I feel like texting you. You understand what I'm saying? So that she knows what it is. And what's happening is this, is that if she likes you, she's going to respect that because you're basically letting her know now what the deal is. You see what I'm saying? And if she actually really is into you and really respects you, she's going to respect that because she wants the relationship to keep going. You see what I'm saying? Now, yeah. if she doesn't respect it and she's just trying to control you or do some other shit like that, right? 
then that will be shown based off of her reaction or response to you telling her this. Right. You see what yeah. I'm saying? But but with any situation, whether it's her or any other woman, if they're coming at you saying, oh, well, this and that and this and that and this and that, you don't want to comply to her request that way because what it is is that, and this is the, what's going to make you remember this. Remember that she's supposed to be following you. You understand? Right. So fuck all of that, what she, how she wanted to go. This is how it's going to be with me and you because this is how I deal with women. This is what, what, it, what it is with, when I deal with women. You feel what I'm saying? Cause, cause what you just asked me, you said, well, should I call her every hour and call it? So what you're doing is you're going off of how she is, 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 uh, reacting. You're saying, should I change my behavior based off of how she, uh, wants it to go, which is the wrong move. You need to redirect that energy and say, this is what's going to happen between us and either you with it or you're not. That's that. All right. That's it. That's yeah, what you got to do. You feel me? Yeah. And sometimes, you know, like, um, you know, I say like, oh, sorry, you know, I was just busy, mm -hmm. you know, like yesterday or two days ago or, you know, five hours ago. Mm -hmm. and, and she says, well, uh, doesn't sound like you're that interested in me anymore. Mm. Um, I mean, it's like a, it's important that you know communication is important in our relationship. Mm. Right. So she, so she's coming at you with the, oh, I, I don't feel like you, you, uh, you care and all this other stuff and yada yada yada. Right. Right. So what you want to do is when you, this is what you want to, you want to get her in person. You want to be face to face with her, and have a conversation with her. And you need to you need to lay down what is wh what's supposed to happen between you and her, and you first have to uh, figure out what you want to happen. So if you're like, listen, I want to, I don't feel like calling this girl every day, um, you know, I, I want to see her maybe two or three times a week or twice a week or once whatever it is. You need to figure out what it is. Let her know what the plan is, and then move on from there. You see what I'm saying? Because right now it seems like you haven't let her, you haven't shown her what it's supposed to be. You haven't decided what you want in the situation, so she has nothing to follow right now. She's just going based off of her, you know, how she's feeling or whatever. You see what I'm saying? And so you need to give her a structure to be able to work around. You see what I'm saying? Because even if she's feeling, even if she's feeling like she wants you to call her, or she's feeling like, oh, I wish you would call her, whatever, whatever, the fact that she would know that this is how it's supposed to be. She at least knows that this is how it, how it is. And so now she can't say she didn't know or whatever, whatever. So she has a, a framework to work within. But since you haven't really said anything, she's just going based off of how she's feeling at the moment. You feel what I'm saying? And then now because you didn't give her any boundaries or any, any structure or any instructions, you understand? She, she's just going to be all over the place and she's going to be even more all over the place if you're following her. If you're thinking, well, let me call her every hour, or let me do this, or let me do that, that's not the way you want it to be. You want it to be her following you, and you have to be the guy who sets the tone of how the relationship's going to be. I see. Even with contacting, yeah, right. Because like, look, and you can do, and look, you can do it. Too. You can do it very lovingly and nice. You 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 meet up with her and you grab her by the hand and you say, "Listen, I really enjoy uh, our time together." But what I need you to understand is I'm a busy man and I can't, I'm not going to be calling you every day and, you know, every two days or whatever. All right. So what's going to happen is I'm going to hit you up when I feel like hitting you up. Now you can call me whenever you want. You understand? And do what you got to do. Sometimes I may hit you back. Uh, you know, I may pick up and hit you back right away or it may take me a while. But I'm letting you know that this is how it's going to be if you're going to be with me. That's it. You feel what I'm saying? It's, you're, you're sitting her down and letting her know what it is, and then if she if she's feeling you, if she's because uh, you gotta understand, she's looking for that structure. Women like the feeling of security. They like the fact that they can depend on something and someone. So when you're showing her that structure and when you're showing her that you're creating that situation, that just makes her feel more secure. Part of her 
uh, calling you or hitting you up talking about, oh, how come you don't call me so much, is because she feels uh, not secure in the situation. And then so and, and so what happens is that's going to cause her to act that way. See, and sometimes a lot of, you know, some guys will say, well, yeah, that's cool. You should have her on her toes and all that other stuff. And yeah, that's cool in certain uh, aspects. But at the same time, you still want a balanced situation to where she understands how the situation is going to go so it doesn't go all the way out of hand. You see what I'm saying? Right. So, right, you know. yeah, get that structure. Right, right. So just, yeah, just meet up with her and sit down and have a talk with her. And let her know in a very cool, calm, loving manner, hey, listen, this is what it's going to be. And and that's that. You understand? That's what you okay. got to do. And, and, it, and this, this is... This is what this is one thing I need you to, to, to make sure that you don't do. Okay? Make sure you do not, when you're talking to her, right? Don't ask her what she would prefer. You understand? So what I mean is, don't okay. grab her by the hand and say, hey, uh, so I want to, like, you know, you don't want to say to her, so uh, would, would it be okay if we did this way or would you like it better if no you're not you're not asking her anything you're telling her what's going to happen you understand what i'm saying so yeah. remember have her follow you and you're telling her what's going to happen you're not asking her you understand so you're not asking her hey would, yeah. would you be okay if i called you maybe no 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 no. i'm letting you know that this is how it's going to be and that's that you know what i'm saying that's it it, all right, and same thing applies even if, like, she was officially my girlfriend? Yeah, well, and that's the thing. She shouldn't be officially your girlfriend until you've already implemented this type of situation. And until until a girl already knows how things are supposed to be, or, or she... It's like this. And I was talking about this earlier. You need to be in a situation where you're training your girl... To follow you, to respond to you this way. So once she, so let, let's say you go and you meet her, you talk to her, you say, "Hey, listen, um, this is how it's gonna go. Um, I'm gonna call you whenever I have time. If you want to call me, that's cool. But I'm not. We're not gonna do this thing where you're getting upset at me for not calling you for a few days, right? Now, once she accepts that, and you see that she accepts that, and she's being cool with that, and she's cooperating with that. And then there's probably other things you can implement. And then you see that she cooperates with those things. Then at that point, you can say to her, in, or if y'all have the discussion of girlfriend and boyfriend. Because remember, the, 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 the levels that you have with women have to be based off of her showing that she's worth being your girl. So if you come right. up to her, and, right. So if you come up to her and say, listen, I'm going to call you when I have time. And that's what it's going to be. And if she starts like, getting all upset and pissed off about that, she can't be your girl. She's 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 fucking up her 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 her, you know, like she she has to uh understand that in order for her to even be your girl, she has to already be complying and and cooperative in that aspect from jump with this situation. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, she has to prove exactly that she's cooperative with me all the way through. Exactly. So you do not make this woman your girl if you see that she's not cooperating, she's not following your instructions and all this other shit. You see what I'm saying? Once you see she is, you. then you can say, y'all can even have that discussion. You feel what I mean? So, that's what it is. Alright. Alright, bro? Alright. Alright, man. Keep me posted, bro. Alright? I'm holler at you. Alright. Thanks, Mr. Ricardo. Alright. No problem, bro. Alright. Peace. Alright. Alright, all people. So, it is about that time. Let me shout out to all the people in the room. Uh, shout out the Aladdin Show, Kyrie Parker, Lee the Green Hornet, J Dubs, Takeem Hilton, Got Juice, Cal Newman, Felipe Francisco, J uh, Jermaine Jones. Shout out to you for being a moderator. Uh, Savage the Savage, JF00170, Richard Tyler, Jedi James. Dude What 212, Got Juice, Young King, What's Poppin', ESA, Nico, um, who else is up in here? David Thomas, Lee Green Hornet, Lee the Green Hornet, Humble Wolf, 
Who else? Ajuma Bay. Who else we got up in here? T. Williams. Magic. JXN. Man, you got a lot of people up in here, man. This is what's up. Curve D. Pause. Um, Maurice Dupree. Altair. Carlos Rivera. Big Step 85. Brandon Collins. And a, uh, a political guy. That's what's up, man. Appreciate all you guys. Uh, remember... Make sure you get How to Have Sex 2 in a Day, ebook, card copy, audio book. Um, by the end of the year, I should, I should, I'm, you know, I don't, I, I, I hate to, to say shit and then it doesn't happen at that point, but I should have my new book out by December, hopefully. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I have, I have actually working on two books right now, but one of them should be out by December. And I'll let you guys know more about that when it comes up also make sure you guys join the bad boy membership go to badboymembership.com right now to join the bad boy membership so you get 45 through 90 minute audio and video dating advice tutorials every month all right so i'll holler at you guys later remember the truth is inside you peace i'm gone